so welcome or welcome back to btide and finally uh, you all guys requested for lyra and we are here so we are going to like have a longer series on this uh, we are going to convert it to dedicated servers and different type of content but for now we are going to add eos custom eos to this and also uh, change the login method the current login method is not good as you can already see on the screen you need to pass the login method and different data uh, using the command line and you have a custom log file for a uh, custom file for the eos thing but because uh, all our videos are based on the default engine.ini and the normal methods we are going to change the playfabs method uh, sorry we are going to change the lyra's method to that so the first thing that we need to do is uh, we can just go to the official EOS tutorial website and copy the log. Now I am assuming this is for a single platform, but if you are like going with a cross platform game, you can just copy the uh, EOS plus code. So now what you need to do is uh, go to your engine uh, default engine.ini file, which is located in the config folder. and just scroll down and paste it yeah just paste it here and you can remove the uh, spaces the, which are there then we can just save directly and close the editor and just reopen it so that it has the new eos settings as we set them okay now let's go to settings uh let's go to just to go to the project settings or before that let's go to the front end map let's open up the front end map and let's try just playing it uh, and see if the login screens come out so currently there is no login screen implemented but there is a screen which like even before the game starts it tries you to login in so it has an auto login feature and the auto login works in a way that it reads the command line value so if you like pass the command line properties that the login method and things like that like it's given in the documentation then that's the thing that you need to use but because we do not have that we will have to change the source code itself so before doing that we need to link our eos to the website itself that is the dev portal so let's go to the online subsystem eos settings and put all the artifact settings and uh, different server settings also but we will put the server setting in the dedicated server video let me open up the dev portal just a second okay uh i can just put it in one side hmm. so now we can just quickly copy paste the values as you already know we can just like copy paste as the name says itself Next we can put the artifact name so we can just name the first one as the client artifact because this is all the client settings and this is using client policy so we will set it to be client artifact and uh, enable the overlay and also these settings are for cross play if you are going with the cross platform game or with this team so you will have to enable these. So that is it that we need to do here next is we can use a 64 hexadecimal generator code generator the link is in the description you can generate the code for this and just paste it here next you can just close this and now try to play so when you try to now play uh, you will notice that the log screen oops we forgot to add the log screen let me just close this so you can go to editor settings and then in play we have this additional log uh, so just add dash log so that in standalone we can get the logs for the game 
So now let's play. So yeah, as you can see, the lock comes up. And uh, nope, this did not log in. So it did not try to log in. Uh, there can be some issue. Okay, it logs in. So as you can see, it says login failure not implemented because we did not pass anything in the login method. So we will have to now add a custom way so that we don't need to pass in from the command prompt. And let me just show you the line which says the auto login failed. Uh, it's a little bit on upper side. So yeah, as you can see, the method is not implemented, the auto login failed. So let's change this to a normal method, the normal login method. So for that, what we need to do firstly is, why is it not closing? Yeah, let's go to tools, add a new C++ class and that just needs to be an empty class. The code is very simple, so don't worry, if, even if you don't know C++, it's just a single line code. So yeah. Now in the source code feature, you need to go to the common user, then source and open the common user uh, subsystem dot h and dot cpp. So the main thing is done in dot cpp. We have the auto login feature in the dot uh, cpp file. So we, okay, uh, the live coding failed, but no worries. So we can just directly search for control F uh, auto login. So just a second. So auto login and yeah, as you can see, this is the code for the auto login. And if the system is one, so we can just come out to auto login version one. This is the version that is using the older subsystem version two. That is the newer subsystem is not yet implemented. And that's why the version one is used. So as you can see, it's, it has an auto login code. So we will convert it to a normal login code. So let's just commit it out and in the next line, we will add a new return statement and just add system identity interface. Now then login. Now login requires two parameters. That is the local user uh, num and the account credentials. So account credentials doesn't mean passing in the account values. It just means what type of uh, uh, account type what is the login type you that like you want to have so we will be having the account portal login type you can have persistent login or device id login or things like that so we will just set account credentials so this is a normal variable just set here and dot type so we just need to set the type token and id can be empty for account portal so we will set it to account portal And here we will now pass in the account credentials. So done. So now let's save and play. Uh, let me just close the editor. So now this failed but because that was, uh, we set it to Lyra EOS. It should be the normal project name. So Lyra YT is our project name. So we just set it and run. So. Now let's go back to the front end map. And play.
now this time account portal should open up for login like for asking for login and yeah it does it so now it does not open up the account field screen and we did not pass anything on the command prompt so that is a win-win situation for us so now let's continue to app and allow so we have this betide studio account so also we in like further down the video we will use two accounts just to show multiplayer so don't worry for that and now we have this betide studio logged in correctly so that works bro and even here you will notice that we have successfully logged in login success so now we can create sessions also so let's go and create start a game and try to find it on the dev portal so i will just start with control and okay someone is killing me but do, uh, ignore that uh we can find the user id on the top where we logged in uh so you will find this thing where it's a long sentence and we have two parts of it the second part is the user id so just select the user id and uh, make it player id so we are just uh, searching sessions by player id you can search it by attribute or different things but as you can see we, could, we can create a uh, created we can find a created session in the dev portal so everything works and it, you can see it says uh, beta id studio created the session and the different attributes and the properties so that works now let's try using two accounts so that we can just test it out properly let me just close this up so now let's just make it two and a standalone game so i have a test account a second test account so i can just and also you can use developer tools with it i but i don't believe in using developer tools that much so that's why i just log in using the tab itself and continue to app allow as beta id studio one will log in successfully and yeah the say this one logged in and now for the second one we will have to switch account i will just enter the password just give me a minute i will be back okay so yeah this is ready and now as you can see we have a hello studio international test account and we logged in successfully so now we have two different players we will just start a game on one of the session like one of the players and as you can see we started elimination so now on the second one uh, of hello studios we will just make it play lyra just a second let me yeah the first screen open up and i will go to play lyra and browse and as you can see we found a, a elimination round and with one player in it and let's see if it works properly and we join the red team and yes we joined now uh, basically this is running on listen server connection so that is not very good so we will move to dedicated servers in the coming video and if you want more specific videos about lara you can let us know uh, i did not know people are interested that much about it but looking at the community post and then the discord i believe people requested more for this so uh, we have the first lara video on the channel now so that is it uh, thanks for watching meet you in the next one consider subscribing liking the video and giving a comment or joining the patreon thank you